What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a 50% glycolic acid peel and I am so excited. I actually did this yesterday. No, the day before yesterday. It's been a couple of days. Some of the reasons why I needed this glycolic acid peel is because I, honestly I've just been really terrible about washing my face. I have a, a really regimented skincare routine that I do but since I haven't been wearing makeup and you know just staying at home I don't I just haven't I've just got out of my normal routine typically if I have a full face of makeup which is typically daily I'll wash my face before I go to bed and do all my skincare well I didn't feel the need to wash my face because I didn't put makeup on it's really dumb I know so I got in this horrible routine where it was like I wasn't washing my face at, and using all of my products as normal because you know when you don't have a routine it just seems like those things go right out the window so what I was experiencing is a lot of texture I have an oily skin type acne and even though you know I'm 45 I still get acne which is frustrating <laughs> thought I would outgrow this by now I, as I've aged, my acne has gotten a lot better, but still, if I break my routine, then, you know, it pops up again. So I was feeling this texture and my face was breaking out and I'm like, I have to reset. I have to get this under control. That's when I decided that I was going to do this glycolic peel. And so what a glycolic acid peel is, is it's a treatment. It's typically done in a dermatologist's office, but you can buy these products. I buy mine from Amazon and it is something that you really need to be safe when you do it. There is, depending on your glycolic acid percentage, you just really need to know your skin and how much you've done in the past, know your tolerance, and then you work from there. So I decided with the 50% because I've done a lot of other treatments on my face, so I wanted something that was really going to make a difference. What glycolic is, is it is uh, for texture. It's to just get the top layer. It's a peel, so it's meant to get the top layer of skin off because as you age, you don't fluff off that skin. I'm saying it fluff off, but you know what I mean? You don't turn over skin cells as fast as you did when you were younger. You put the glycolic acid, it's supposed to help with texture. It's supposed to help with blemishes. If you have oily skin type, glycolic is said to be really good for that mixture. And so that's where we're at. Uh, glycolic is something that you don't want to mess around with. It can go bad really quick if you're not responsible and safe. So just make sure that you're following the recommended doses and start out slow. So we'll go ahead and jump into me doing this in the past and I'll come back and do my final thoughts. Let's get started. So first I want to put some alcohol. I wanna make an even palette. If you hear drilling outside, I'm sorry, they're doing work and there's just never a good time. There's always noise. So I'm using 91%. If you can get your hands on 99, yeah, 99, then that's great, but you definitely want it to be higher than 80%. And what it does is it gets rid of all the oil that's on your face, and then it just creates a smooth palette. So when you put on the glycolic, you don't have uneven spots on your face. But since it's uh, hard to find alcohol, I got 91%, and I felt lucky to even get this. So there's that. So I'm gonna do that first. I'll put my gloves on after I do this. Okay, that was a lot. Let's not waste it. This makes my eyes burn. Every time I do this, I'm like, gross. Even though I wash my face before, you definitely want to wash your face before you get started and let all the water dry. I'm going to do my neck. All right, you wanna let this dry for two minutes and make sure that's completely dry. 
but it's always so gross. Like literally, I washed my face and it's still, why am I still doing it? All right, I gotta let two minutes go by. All right, one more time. Here we go. We're good, we're done. <sighs> Eek. Oops. So while I'm letting that dry, I could not find my Vaseline anywhere. Now I know I have some stashed away. I don't know about you, but I go through these organizing phases and then I don't know where anything is. And I literally do not have a mirror. So in the past, I have burned my eyebrows <laughs> doing a peel. So now I just cover them with Vaseline if I had it, but if you happen to have a chai tea latte Burt's Bee chapstick, then use that. <laughs> Actually, any kind of lubricant will do. Any sensitive areas, my eyebrows around my nose right here, and then of course my lips. Because those are sensitive areas, I just don't want to burn them. All right, the glycolic I'm going to be using is Beverly Hills Glycolic Acid Medical Strength and it's 50%. Now, if you are just starting, go with a 30, go with a 20, go with a lighter one. If you have sensitive skin, just go very, very easy. These are very strong. So I'm gonna put some gloves on. I have before not used gloves when I've done a peel and then my fingers peeled and it made my nails really brittle. So I'm going to put on the glove. These are hard to come by too. So I just wanna pour a little bit into my little dish here. And that's just so I'm able to dish it out. It has a little governor thing on it. So no need just pour out already into my little dish. And then I have these thin little cotton rounds. If you have medical grade cotton rounds, then those are the best just to keep it everything sterile. But I have these little thin ones so the thin ones, what they do is they don't absorb a lot of product, but you still get the product on it. So that's what I want to do. When I dip it in there, I just want to make sure that it's not dripping. Like I want it to be soaked, but I don't want it dripping. Oh yeah, it smells like garbage. Similar to any peel, you want to go from side to side, swipe out. And then I always leave my under eyes for last because I want the treatment to, to be on there the least. But it's important that this is not dripping because you do not want this to go in your eyes. Very, very dangerous. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I have not used a glycolic peel in a long time. I was doing TCA, but Mr. Zuckerberg, that burns, decided they don't want to sell it anymore on Amazon. So I am using a glycolic. All right, I'm just gonna go in for another little round just to make sure everything is covered. I am going to wait about three to five minutes is the recommended. I'm going to see how it feels after three minutes and then if I can last for five minutes and I'll leave it on for five. I haven't done a glycolic peel in a while, so I just really want to be conscious of what my skin is telling me, as you should do if you try this at home as well. Just pay attention. If it starts burning out of control, then you know that you need to get it off. So I'm going to set my timer. Siri, set timer for three minutes. And we wait. My battery's dying, so this is a perfect opportunity to switch that. Okay, it's been three minutes in it. It burns, but not terribly, but it itches. <laughs> I just wanna. 
So I'm going to go for another two minutes. Siri, set... Oh, it just popped up. All right. It must have... Well, my phone's always listening to me, isn't it? Anyway, so we're going to give it two more minutes. It, especially, I don't typically do my neck, but as you can tell, age is catching up with me. So I did my neck this time, which is new. So it'll be good to get a coat on there. But you can tell it's definitely red. But what I'm going to use is... I have this neutralizer from another peel that I have, which is a salicylic. So I'm gonna use this. This is a chemical peel neutralizer, professional grade. I'll link it all below. I'll link everything below. But I'm gonna um, put this on my face um, to neutralize it. Typically, if you don't have this, you bake in soda and water. That's what you need. And if you have like a fresh water, like a bottled water or something that's ideal but one thing that i do that others don't is i never rub my face after a peel i once did a glycolic peel and then put the uh, baking soda and water and i rubbed it and the baking soda was so it's like an exfoliant it's really rough and i'm like ooh, never again it burned so bad the neutralizer does burn any neutralizer just anything that you put on your face after a peel it's kind of scary because it burns so much but it goes away pretty fast but um I was scrubbing with that baking soda and I was like holy crap I'm like tearing up my skin at a very sensitive state so don't do that if anything pat your skin and I learned that along the way you know because I used to do you know just the rubbing and the rubbing and everything so it is time to take this off. I am going to put this on my face so you can see it neutralize and then I'm gonna go to the bathroom and rinse it off and then I'll do another step after this. So just stay tuned. dry before I open them up. Don't need this chemical getting in my eyeballs. That's why I don't like really spraying it with that spray. I thought I would give it a try but I don't think I recommend that. Just use baking soda and water and douse your face with it. Which still gets in your eyes but I don't know. What do you think? The burning went away but let me go rinse my face to make sure I get off all the the peel itself just to make sure. All right, my face is all washed. Look at those bumps right there. What is that all about from me just sitting around picking at my face? I tell you, I had better skin when I wore makeup every day and I hardly ever put on makeup these days. But anyways, that's what it looks like. It's red. Your face is your pores are wide open the chemical peel is doing its magic but right now is a good time to make it stronger and put on a retin-a this product is so old but i'll link it below or something similar if i can't find it but it's just a retinol and what this will do is it does two things it moisturizes and it gets some retinol into your, your uh, pores which will absorb it better and make your peel work better and it feels good when you put it on let's get right there with all those little bumps is this product still good if there's some left it's still good <laughs> uh, snatched Hardly, hardly, hardly. But this is the peel itself. Success. It feels like it's doing something. Like I felt the burn. It wasn't terrible. The TCA is definitely burns, like uncomfortable where you have to have a fan to your face. This one is almost tolerable. So I don't know if my skin's just used to peels or what, but. I don't know. God, that retinol felt good. Except I have little fuzzies from the 
whatever, but yeah, I really feel it. Then I'll start my period again and then we'll start all over again. But anyways, my face was pretty dull, so I think this will help with the dullness, so I'm happy about that. All right, I'm just checking back in because I haven't done one of these peels in a while, and it's crazy because I rinsed this off. You guys see me spray it on, and then I went to the sink and rinsed it off. Well, my face still feels tingly, like it's still working. It's kind of crazy. And so I want to get rid of that feeling, and so I am going to put some 99% aloe on my face just to calm it down. I am just going to put some of this on my face. It smells clean. I hate when fragrances are in my products, but it says 99%, so the other percent must be some kind of something. But we're just gonna, oh, that feels so much better. Oh, it feels better already, holy moly. It was kind of like, you know, I went and cut up some vegetables because I'm making dinner. <laughs> that sounded like I'm way healthy. It d d no. <laughs> Anyways, I'm cooking dinner and I was just noticing that it's still tingling. It's still tingling and I'm like, this is uncomfortable. So I used to have like a green tea. No, I still have a green tea, but I used to have, green tea kind of settles your face too, but I used to have like an aloe vera toner that I really wanted to splash on my face, but I couldn't find it. Again, my organization, I put things in places that I'm like, can never find, but this should help. That I've heard that it's like a calming, it's like after a sunburn, you put this stuff on and it helps. So hopefully this calms it down. It feels better already. It's like cooling my face. That's an update. Okay, it's been a couple days since I've done the glycolic acid peel and I didn't get exactly the results that I was looking for. It definitely brought a lot of that texture, those bumps under the skin to the surface. So get a little bit closer. I don't know if you can tell, but I have just like these little bumps. I don't know if the camera does a lot of justice but um it brought a lot of those to the surface which was nice because um that's what you want to do it i when they say it gets bad before it gets better that's why is because you don't see them but they're there and i could feel them and then the glycolic gets that skin layer off brings them to the surface and then you heal from there. So I was able to bring that to the surface. So I look worse than when before I did the peel, but I am getting rid of that texture. So in two weeks, I'm gonna come back and do another one. I'm gonna do a 30% just so I have that variety. And the 50% isn't a beginner one, so I definitely wanna do a 30% just um, for a beginner type. And because I'm doing it in two weeks after this last one, it's it's just safer. So some of the things that I've experienced over the last couple of days since I did the peel is I have dry patches, it brought things to the surface, and I recognize that I need to do another one. When I have acne, my skin type, I tend to get discoloration, and I, I tend, I, I don't, I don't always pick, but I tend to, if I'm bored or watching TV, I'll kind of pick, and which is, terrible and I try to correct myself if I catch myself doing it so then it just when I get a pimple it lasts forever because it gets like a dark spot so even though the acne itself is healed I still have like a, a mild scar that after I do a couple peels they go away or as time goes on it goes away but it's just there and it's so annoying. Uh, doing another peel I think will help this initial one just got it going so when I do my second peel you'll definitely see the difference. My skin tone will brighten up. Hopefully, we'll see. But the goal is to have the skin tone brighten up, get rid of the texture. Because texture for me is just always a constant battle. That's why I do so many peels, because you'll just see. It's It, it probably doesn't look like it on camera, but you definitely, if I wear highlighter, I don't wear highlighter just because of texture issues. Um, but if I put highlighter on, it really emphasizes my texture. It looks awful. So that's when this whole highlighting phase was going on. I'm just like, I wanna wear a highlighter, but it looks so bad on me. <laughs> 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave all your questions below. This isn't a lighthearted peel. You definitely want to take it serious and be safe, especially if it's your first time. If you like videos like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do a lot of skincare videos. I, I'm not a young chicken anymore, so I really have to keep up on my skincare. So hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.